You started uh, school, elementary school, in Terre Haute? Yes, at Booker T. Washington. And that was a segregated school? Oh, yes. Tell me about that experience. It probably, looking back, it was probably the best school experience of my life. All of my teachers were, were Negro. That's what we were called then. My third grade teacher was Jane Dabney Shackelford. She wrote the very first book for Afri for P very first book about African American history for children. It's called The Child's History of the Negro. She was my third grade teacher. Um, my my seventh grade teacher was John Wesley Lida, Sr. He wrote the book, The Negro in Northern Indiana. Those are the kinds of teachers I had. Um, it was a close-knit community in Terry Hope. So if you misbehaved in school, my teachers just stopped by the house on the way home. And of course, back in those days, There weren't any child abuse laws. You know, we were whipped. And my grandmother would give you a whipping. She would send you out to get a switch. And if you got a little switch, you got whipped more. So you were afraid to get a little switch because that meant you were going to get a longer beating. So you had to pick a switch that she would consider appropriate for the occasion. Um, but that's the way it happened. So whenever you saw the teacher's car in front of your house, you started trembling because you knew that this was not going to be a pleasant evening. Um, well, did I mean, did, did you inspire occasions for the teacher to show I up? And I stopped house? talking in school. I just couldn't stop. I, I, I just couldn't. I couldn't stop. I could not stop talking in school. <laughs> and was it because you were so excited about learning? I have no idea what was wrong with me. Because anybody's got as many whippings as I did about it should have stopped. I mean, you know, at least big intelligent. Uh, I, I couldn't stop. I just couldn't stop. But, but you apparently did very well in school. You should see my report card. I should have saved one for you. I have one there. All A's with F and deportment. I could not stop talking. Uh, so you 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 went from uh, from elementary school, and I understand it, ninth grade was was when you Sarah first Scott. Then I went to Sarah. So that's when you integrated oh, at ninth grade. I had a now, why wonderful was that? Why was eighth that? grade teacher. Why was it? I have no idea. It must have been money. money. They just couldn't afford the segreg the dual school system up that far. I guess I have no idea. But at ninth grade, you went to the integrated school. I had a wonderful eighth grade teacher. This was a magnificent woman. Her name was Marguerite Taylor. And around the third week of the eighth grade, she told us she was going to teach us algebra. And she said, look, she said, I'm going to teach you this algebra because when you get to Sarah Scott, everybody there is going to know algebra. She said, and I will not have it that the only people who do not know it our Negroes. She said, I won't have it. She was a real different kind of teacher. If you didn't make an A or a B on her test, she would sit you down and she would say, how can you do this to me? Like you had hit her or something, you know? It was like you had personally done something terrible to her. It was, uh, was not just your own personal failing, but you did this to hurt me. You, I had never had a teacher like that before in my life um, who was so passionate about your learning. And took it so personally. And took it so personally. Was it, a, was it an effective approach with the Well, for me it was. I can't speak for anybody else. But when I went to Sarah Scott, I was topping my class in algebra. I was so good that I didn't have homework. And my mother was the kind of parent, oh, you don't have homework? Oh, something's wrong here. 
So she took time from work to go to Sarah Scott. We walked because she didn't have a car and we didn't have car fare. And we walked all the way to Sarah Scott. And my mother went in there and asked them, why was I not having any homework? They said, she has homework. She passed her homework in every day. And my mother said, well, where is she doing it? She's not doing it at home. And they said, well, we don't know. So my mother says, too easy. This class is too easy. I could have made my mother disappear. If <laughs> the class is too easy, she said. Take her out of this class. Put her in a harder class. This girl is doing this work at school. So they put me in 9A, 9B2, right? My teacher was Miss Essie Howard. This was a big white lady with big red hair. And so she told me, she said, I understand you've been down there just skating along, making A's, and none. And I'm saying, like, did my mother tell everybody? <laughs> and she gave me the hardest work you could ever find. But she was a helpful teacher. You know, she was the kind of teacher who would help you understand. So I did well in her class. Were there any adjustment problems in terms of being in an integrated situation? No, because the white people considered us inferior. They didn't they didn't mix with us. They didn't uh, they considered us inferior. You know, you're in our school, but we know you're inferior.